All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awakened Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, if you're new to the show, if you're new to me, welcome, welcome. If you're watching on the on the replay, welcome, welcome. Please do uh, subscribe on YouTube if you can to in order to watch all of the live and all the replays, all the shows from the past and all the shows coming up in the future. It is my deepest wish, desire, and intention to bring forward to you these wonderful speakers and guests who share their teachings, their wisdom, their experiences, their healing, their clearing, etc., to raise the vibration and frequency of all of us, as well as the planet and the collective. Um, it is our birthright to live in abundance, to thrive, to be in joy. And I'm, my hope is that these shows give some of that to you, give you that inspiration, give you that healing and clearing that you require in order to really live a joyful life. So with all that, <laughs> all that being said and done, today, uh, my dear friend Donna Hill is with us for the first time. So she is a new speaker to our show. And today we're going to be having a discussion, um, an in-depth transformational conversation with the Pleiadians, facilitated by Donna. And so I'm excited about this because I, I love working with the Pleiadians. I love the Pleiadian energy. And of course, you know, what else is possible for all of us, right? So um, it is an experiential conversation, so please be willing to receive. And the Pleiadians are going to be speaking into the wisdom of our soul and assist us in transcending limitations in our lower nature. We will be gleaning a deeper understanding of ascension as an evolutionary process and how we can navigate the latter half of 2023 with greater ease. We will learn how to show up for ourselves and others as wayshores in times of challenge and uncertainty. And Donna will be bringing through light language as well as singing and toning to uplift and empower each of us. And this entire call will be healing and transformational as the Pleiadians bring forward and heal the most prominent energy blockages presenting in the group. All that and more. So we're so excited that Donna is with us. So please join me in welcoming Donna to the show. Donna, welcome. Hi, thank you so much. I feel blessed to be here. I feel like I'm among friends. Absolutely. It's very beautiful. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. And I'm glad that you were here with us. Um, we go way back, but if you could just share a little bit about your journey, because you are a new speaker to the show, a little bit about your journey, how you became to be a healer, how you became to be connected with the Pleiadians and working with them, etc. whatever you think is relevant for us to know about you. Okay, thank you. Hmm. So. Let's see. So I came into a very dysfunctional family. And so what can happen with some of us light workers, a lot of us actually. So I had soul agreements with parents, um, as we all do, and I didn't get those fulfilled. So I crashed and burned into the physical. And I went through this many, many, many times, you know, to heal a lot of that trauma that was coming in. So um, so last minute, I decided on some parents. So I still made that decision. I still chose those parents under duress in the very last few moments of incarnating. So and what I'll say about this is soul will come in under any circumstances, if there is a big, a big calling, right, if we're meant to be here, we'll come in under any circumstances. And think about those souls that came in during the war and these kinds of things, right. So, so we're all meant to be here in the ways that we're here. Um, so it took me a long time to get to get my head around, you know, who are these, who are these folks that I don't feel any connection to. So I came in, I was a telepathic child, I remember trying to talk to my mother telepathically, and, and she couldn't hear me. And uh, it was very, I felt very much frustration. So, so that was um, within the context of the little self, I began to shut down more and more because, you know, I won't get into that part so much. What connected me to soul, what I remember from this incarnation was um, how, how nature opened up my senses. So I remember very vividly still and feel and sense and know it in my soul was, you know, like the rustle of the leaves in the wind, my first experiences of that, or the grass waving in the wind, because we lived in the country, the blueness of the sky, these beautiful, beautiful experiences, and I knew I was part of that. And so I held that as part of the truth of who I was. And then so fast forward, so I graduated high school, and I, um, I, so one of the first things 
that came to me as, as an 18 year old, you know, out on my own finally. So the dull roar of all the craziness in our family was gone. And my soul said to me, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Right. And so that's, that's been a quest for my whole life. And that was my first sort of inkling of waking up. Um, so then again, fast forward. So we work with some, some healers and folks like that. I worked with some soul family. They were therapists um, who trained me and because they were private practice, they knew I was going to uh, going to work with people and they were supportive of that. So I came in as a healer all my shamanic lifetimes um, are already integrated at, you know, right at the beginning. And, um, and so I just knew how to heal people. So it was a knowing that I had. So so let's see what else could we say about this it's it's difficult to talk about our journeys like for me it's difficult um no, i had a great. premature uh, thanks um, i had a premature kundalini awakening when i was about 27 that just tore my life apart for 10 years so what happens when the kundalini comes up it's uh it it exposes every raw nerve you have and i didn't have the spiritual awareness and uh, discipline to deal with it. I had only been on a healing journey for, you know, three years and um, and I didn't know what was going on. And this is pre-internet. So I just figured that out a few years ago. It's, oh, that what was going on. And so that was a soul agreement I had coming into this lifetime. And if I would have had the parents that I had agreed to, this is not a regret. This is an, just an observation. I would have been ready at 27 for that that awakening, it would have been fine. But because I was still de dealing with all the traumas from, from, the, um, from this lifetime, especially, um, that was a very devastating part of my life. So, um, and then, but always I was working, okay, so I'll get into some of my healing practices and what helped me. So I took NLP training when I was in, um, the mid 90s, I guess, um, I trained with these um, healers that were soul family that helped me. And this is the beautiful part of my story. So I hired and fired about 10 counselors. And I finally through synchronicity, I got this woman's name twice. And I was in university, I didn't have any money. And she said, you can clean my house for four hours a week. And I'll give you one hour of therapy. And so and she, we got together, she gave me the keys to her house. It's like, can you imagine this? Trusted me with their home, right? Um, so she had that awareness and, um, and they helped me bridge into the spiritual, right? So in another significant part is uh, I began to have spiritual experiences and peak experiences um, very early in my awakening. And that for those of us, so, so in my thing is about how do we live in joy? How do we... Um, you know, do the things we love and really embody the, the truth of who we are in joy and love and laughter and play and excitement, curiosity, all of that good stuff, right? How do we do that? Well, it started for me with peak experiences because I knew, you know, I connected back into that childhood experience of there's something out there and I'm part of it, right? So, um, yeah, so I kind of lost my train of thought. So, um, and then I did a bunch of, I fell in love with the healing arts. I did a bunch of healing modalities and, um, you know, I was invited to Calgary by Archangel Michael. That's another story that could take, you know, a, a good deal of time. And um, so I have an affinity with that being is very powerfully present with me here always. And, uh, and all of us, it's very beautiful. So um, I'm going to wrap it up here. Because awesome. um, it feels like there's more going on that we need to address and, you know, story is story kind of thing. We want to have some experiences with you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story, your journey, you know, and um, each of our journeys is important and they're, and they're all unique in some ways, but they're, they're all so, so similar in other ways as well. So thank you so much for sharing your story with us. It helps us You're to welcome. get to know who you are, right? So it's important. So um, let's talk about your a little bit more about your connection with the Pleiadians because we're we're going to be working with them today, right? So um, yeah, let's let's talk about that. How how do you how do you want to do that? How do you 
converse with them. And I, I know everyone's going to ask, how can we talk to them too? Yeah, cool. I, everyone, everyone can talk to the Palladians. So, so they're much like Archangel Michael now. They're very present with all of us. There's, and the most prominent ship, if you see ships, if folks see the ships in the sky, they're mostly Palladians. So, and how will you know that they're ships? because sometimes I'll see clouds in the sky and I'll go, that's interesting formation. Yeah. So um, because of how you feel, so it will touch your heart, you will feel, you will feel this love from them. So, and my journey was very much about, um, I left Calgary in 2015, I'll, I'll make this part short, but it is part of the story. Went back home and uh, just was devastated. I was living back where I grew up. And, but there was so many gifts over the years that I lived there. I was there about five years. And one of the gifts was that there were ET around that area and people had actually been seeing them as kids. And I didn't know that because I was so caught up in the trauma. And I did some soul retrievals and a lot of healing. And I was actually living <laughs> about 200 yards from where I lived in that town, right? This is a very small little town. So it was an interesting deja vu for, you know, just always, always in this familiar place. And I was, you know, I was always connected into the childhood. And so I finally moved away, you know, just to get away and give me the space from that finally. Like sometimes we need to be immersed in the experience. Sometimes we need to move out of it so that we can finish. Okay, so back to Palladians. So I saw a Palladian ship there. And my thing has been for years is I want to see you guys. I know you're around me. I can feel you. I can sense you. You know, they come in and sit on my couch and they say, hey, you know, so you're supposed to be working with me more. And I said, okay, I will. And I never did, right? So when I started seeing the ships, that's when I took it really seriously. And that was my prayer is, and thank you. And, um, and so, and one experience I had with them directly was I was out walking. I had gone through just some really difficult stuff. I was really, you know, quite in pain and had a lot of depression and uh, was what it was in the country. I was white and here's this cloud ship up in the sky, but I knew like you can tell, I knew, oh, hi, you guys. I was, and I just felt so much joy. I, I, it's lovely to see you. Like to me, it's always a party when they come in and say, hey, you know, and I connected in with them and my depression was gone and it was gone for about 10 days. It was just gone. And uh, of course I still had more things to, to work with. So that's, I mean, that's part of it. Live in joy. Um, be excited about life. Do what you love. These these are the messages of the Palladians. You know, let's let's drop our as much as possible. They really help me to drop my, um, you know, the little insecurities that I had. And it just, yeah, mm -hmm. this is part of the human experience. And just accept myself for who I am, right? And in that way, I can hold space for others as well. Yeah. So we're inviting you into this beautiful Palladian circle now, and we'd ask that. All those who love us, that want to teach us, that want to learn from us, want to play and have fun with us and um, assist us in some way, connecting in that this is the sacred circle for all of us. And we'll begin that process. And um, so I started working with the group last night, couldn't sleep. There was, uh, um, uh, it was interesting. So there was a lot of different, different energies coming in. So, so the key for everyone, and this is me from all the years of my own training and experiences to clear out all of other people's stuff, right? And so we did that with the group last night and grounded you all. And, uh, you know, we'll do some hydration for you and a few body processes so that this information will come through in ways that will really connect with your soul, with who you are. Because the Palladians are very much about that. They love us completely and want so much for us to be free and enlivened and enlivened and empowered. Yeah, so that I hope that helps to explain. Yeah, explain. Sometimes the energy comes through in the in the sound of my voice, um, as opposed to um, the words that I'm saying. So, so um, your soul will get what you need from from this conversation, awesome. and that's a promise that comes from them. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I, I want to talk a little bit about ascension as well, right? Ascension is like, mm. you know, the big buzzword for everyone, <laughs> but it's yeah. a normal, natural progression of life, um, yeah. of evolution for sure. And so, you know, we're now in July. So yes, what can we do to 
have more ease uh, in our journey um, because there's a lot going on. There's a lot coming up for, for people and there's a lot going on. And sometimes we get caught up in the, the little things, right? And um, in the drama, we get caught up in the drama. <laughs> You yeah, say. yeah I, it's kind of part of our human experience to do that from time to time. And so coming back to this place of accepting ourselves on our journey and just going, oh, yeah, hmm, that was a trigger on to other things kind of thing. So um, ascension, yeah, so we're being evolved very quickly. And especially the first like we're in the second half of 2023 now. And that summer solstice portal was so powerful for me in a very quiet way. So if you've been on a spiritual path for a while, you will get, you will get, you will feel it, that it's a lot quieter. The energies are quieter. It's not these big, huge ahas anymore. It's, it's very subtle stuff. And so, so I blipped through this summer solstice portal and all was cool. And then I had about a day where I couldn't walk. I had so much pain in my in my um, right right foot, so the leg and hip, right? So, because I knew I still had stuff going on on those lower timelines, even though I wanted to be on this higher one. And so I had to clean that up, but I couldn't walk for about a day. I was in so much pain. So this is what can happen when we're accelerated very quickly. And these portals, the solstices, the equinoxes, the seven seven for some folks was very powerful, even the full moons our full moons, new moons, these kinds of things. There was an M-class solar flare that I got so disoriented, I had to go lay down for a while. This is part of ascension. So, so what's happening is, um, I feel is we're completing, right? This is a completion cycle for a lot of us and a lot of our, the clients I work with as well is we're completing, completing out our lifetimes, all of them, and we're integrating all our lifetimes, right? And so it can be intense, the other part of that, though, too, is the beauty in the essence of who we are and how we're connected to all things has become more and more poignant and uh, just beautiful. It's a very beautiful. Mm, yeah, it's a beautiful experience. Let's just say that. You know. So we're clearing a lot of pain out of everyone right now. There's just pain coming up for everyone. So wherever that's coming in for you, we want to clear that with you and for you and support you in that as well. So an Archangel Michael, of course, is here with me. That that would be another, <laughs> that'd be another talk for sure. So um, Palladians and the Lyrans. So Lyrans often will come through. So if you're getting, feeling a little bit like a kitty, <laughs> right? That cat energy, that's very Lyran. It's very, um, and they're very stealthy. So um, it's coming from my shamanic lifetimes as well. I have a strong, I have a cougar totem as well. So, and dragon energy, you guys, this is really cool. And part of ascension is we'll think something it'll manifest almost immediately, right? So a lot of people have, have been noticing this. I was thinking about dragon energy yesterday because some of us need some fire today to get through to our next level, to complete what we came here to do. And sometimes that's a little completion within a bigger one, like completing a relationship. So, so I'm thinking about dragons yesterday sitting on my deck and two dragonflies came along and they're not that prominent around here. So I, might, I might see five in a summer and I've already seen two. So we're blessing you all with, with beautiful dragon energy. They're here also to help us. Dragons are associated with magic. So we invite you into the magic of your journey because you are doing exactly what you came here to do. And you are infinitely blessed and loved in the process of doing it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for letting me share that. Awesome. Thank you. Um, You're and yeah, you know, and, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned about the pain because there may be quite a bit of physical, emotional, mental pain coming up for a lot of people right now. So, in our, you know, yep. letting that come up and clear that. So that's awesome. <clears throat> um, let, let's also talk about, and this is, I think, really important how we can learn to show up for ourselves and others as way shores. But most importantly is for ourselves. We always put emphasis, in my opinion, we always put emphasis on other people and we put ourselves last. I am not a big proponent mm. of that. I'm like, put yourself first, um, the best you can, show up for yourself. And automatically that energy will 
radiate out to everybody else as well. So always include yourself, right? So um, how can we <laughs> more easily and um, yeah, how can we just show up for ourselves even more? Because we don't, especially women, we, we do not show up for, for ourselves as much as we should. Yes, I love that question. And, um, and I feel that if, uh, if we could answer some questions for the audience around that, because I feel that can help everyone. So I'll give you a brief little bit of information. How do I show up for myself every day? So little things like taking care of your physical body, staying hydrated, right? Getting enough deep, relaxing sleep, like restful sleep. So one thing about ascension is it puts us in delta, which is a really high brainwave state, right? And or, um, alpha, rather, very high, very fast. Um, and in order to sleep, and many, many of these energies, or even gamma, lots of gamma coming onto the planet. In these high energies, we can't sleep because we need to go down to delta, very slow brain waves, right? And so, so part of that is to, in terms of sleep management, is just going, okay, so I'm being evolved right now, and so I can't sleep, uh-huh, right? So just observing, it's very important to observe, observe what's going on. So, and how do we manage it? Just by deal, I have a, a healer on speed dial. If I run into a rocky place, right? So far, it hasn't happened because we learn to be more and more proficient in how we deal with our stuff. And we also have a lot of help around us. So for me, I'm a constant communication with my guides and healing team. Very important, right? What's going on? What's this? How can I, you know, what can I do about this, right? Do I need to clear what's going on? So asking questions, observing and asking, you know, working with your team, ask for help. The, the simplest prayer is help <laughs> and most effective I've found as well, right? Ask for help, they're here to help us. It's critical in these times because people are being activated and jump in, jump in. Like we're being called to action now. You're never gonna feel like you're ready. This is a really important piece. It was like this morning I was going, how, like, how can I even serve? What uh, it's, I'll do my best. I, I was at a total loss and, so because we always feel in some respects we're not enough we are and jump in you're needed and um and you never know who you touch just as you walk through the day right going to the grocery store when we come into other people's fields within about six feet that's they say that's how um you know that's how mm, how wide our heart field is we exchange keys and codes Mm -hmm. right in our energy field and this is an important part too so so go gentle and the other thing too is <laughs> you know if you're having a grumpy day don't take it out on other people that's <laughs> kind of simple right yeah but that comes around really fast right now really you know, really fast I actually right right before the call <laughs> half an hour before the call or maybe an hour I said to my parents I said oh, I'm so cranky today you know <laughs> and these and they're like it's okay. It's just us. I said, yeah, I don't know why I'm so cranky today. And I was like, I kept snapping at them, at them but little things like, oh, why am I so cranky? I don't get it. You know, because like, I, I thought I had a good night's sleep, but I woke up exhausted and like grumbly, you know, it's like, what is going on? Um, so yeah, sometimes it happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but it's, it's better. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm fine now. But I was like, oh, what is it? It's the energy, right? But I remember last night when I was going to bed, I was actually asking God's source creator for help, not for anything particular, actually. So now I'm thinking, did I dream that? <laughs> because I wasn't asking mm -hmm. for anything particular. It's nothing particular. But I remember asking specifically that I just need help. I, I'm not sure with what, but I just need help. So it's like, and then when you ask for help, you do receive it. I have uh, I have uh, proof of that for myself. That when you ask for help, you do receive it. It may not look the way you want, and so you know, like sometimes it's a it's an influx of energies, and sometimes that influx of energies is not always that joyful, happy, happy, whatever. It could be this grumbling. <laughs> just saying, it's like just be be aware of that. Okay. Um, so yeah, you want to take some questions? From sure. People? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's take. We'll we'll just take a few. Uh, we don't want to, you know. We're not going to take, I know we're not going to get everybody, but Linda, you want to unmute yourself? We'll, we'll just take a few. We'll sure. Hi, Hi, Donna. Hi, Linda. Hi, Alara. How are Hi. you? Hi. Good. Um, yes, 
I want to know if the Pleiadians have spoken at all about the financial things that are coming down the pike for this, for the Americans, especially. Mm. So, so oh, financial America, systems. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Um, not, not my area of expertise. I okay. have some opinions about that, but I'm here as a okay. healer, an intuitive healer to work okay. with, to, to be a soul reader for you, to support you in, you know, in working toward that outcome. So, so for those of us who want to have um, financial freedom, right? Want to attune yes. to the energies of abundance. This is for you. So we can work with you with this, with this if you'd like, Linda. Okay. Okay. So we want to open you up to okay. the joy and frequency and abundance of healing, of healing. And so, so abundance is healing in that it frees us, right? So, so there's a healing component with that. So we're just going to work with that. I'm going to speak some light language for everyone. So those of us who love humanity and want to see all of us free, we are blessed in this, knowing that we are here to help and assist in this and just in holding this space for that to come true. Um, and it will come true. They're saying it will. Okay, um, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. That Divine blessings. <laughs> blessings to you too. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're going to go to Erica. Erica, you want to unmute yourself? Hi, thank you. Um, Donna, I often have stomach discomfort. I, I'm experiencing it now. Is that just diet related or is it an energy kind of thing? We can do all kinds of things with that. So the collective is stirred up quite a bit, I feel. Alara, I think that's why you were grumpy. Right? So we want to help and we don't know how, or there's just another element to that. So we're going to ask for all of that to be cleared anywhere we're holding the collective angst right now. We're going to ask for that to be resolved and released out, and especially around the solar plexus. Anywhere where any and all of us are holding on to other people's stuff, which is pretty natural. And this can be a radiance of a few miles right? A radius of a few miles. We want to clear that out for everybody. We're going to ask the Palladians to come in. They love doing this. So they're, they're going to clear out your neighborhoods and clear out your car and your electronics and go into your house and clear that out if you wish. So we're going to move you. So, and for you, I feel that you want to move forward. So this, this whole call um, is about everyone moving forward. So the planners are here to assist you in ways that are right for you to move forward. And we're working on the right side of everybody's body and especially for you. So I'm just going to tune a little bit more. We're going to speak some light language. We're going to balance your stomach acid. So we're just going to clear out any toxins that are mm, this interfering, we will say so, and wherever that comes in in your field. We're going to work with the liver. So liver was working very hard for every one of us, right? That's its job, right? It's also clearing. Mm, so the emotions. So we're transmuting out as much as we can for everybody. Thank you. That's beautiful. That's a lot right there already. We okay. So awesome. when the energy moves really fast, it feels it's kind of like a thrill. It's like, ooh, there we go. And you just work with your liver a little bit more there and balance the liver gallbladder. Yeah, that's a beautiful. Thank you so much. It's helped a lot of people to do this. Oof. So wow. is this something we can ask the Palladians to do for us on our own? Sure. Yeah. Please take all the stuff in my field that isn't mine. <laughs> right? Or assist me in, in clearing all that out that isn't mine. Or what's, what's going on in the collective that I need to bless in a way that's absolutely right? It's so like we all have our gifts. So this is part of being a way shower is I serve all, right? We came here, many of us came here to serve all. So what is the essence of I have that will serve the collective? And we'll send that out. So, so the intention is, yes, I'm here to serve and help. How can I help? And a lot of times that angst will go away. I just felt it all fall away 
right? Erica, you have many beautiful gifts, many beautiful gifts. And so we honor you in that and we support you in um, serving in ways that are absolutely right for you to, to bring that through. And it's like, you're the last person on, on the planet, I feel. And this, well, that's a, an exaggeration, of course. That's a Donahill thing mm -hmm. to see that the Pleiadians would say, we have to acknowledge our gifts as way showers. We have to acknowledge them. And these are areas that we've, man um, that we've mastered that other people haven't, that are just in our field. So you are walking a beautiful spiritual path. It's a, a sacred path. And know that as you walk it, you are infinitely blessed and you're doing exactly what you need to do and celebrate you. This is the beautiful, this is the most beautiful part of all of it is the Palladians. Cause for me, I had so much heavy stuff and they're saying, celebrate, you know, do what you love every day, even if it's a little thing, right? And it's like, I love, I love music. Listen to some music every day. It's just the little things. Honor yourself in this process. It's like Alara had said, we have to, we have to really think about ourselves and not put others first all the time. So I hope that's helpful. Yes, I, I do appreciate it. I tend to feel like I need to do more <laughs> to help or to serve and just need mm. to be at peace with where I'm at. Yeah. So yeah. you serve with the essence of who you are. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. that's beautiful. Thank you, Erica. I mean, thank you know, you. thank you, Erica. And sometimes when we have that, that feeling of I should do more, I need to do more, that's just the ego. So that's when you have to say, no, you know what? I'm doing enough. You just have to tell yourself, I'm doing enough. And it's all good. Um, it's all perfect, right? As it is right now. Uh, yeah, but really helpful. So thank you. <clears throat> all right. So Kathy O, you had a question for Donna? Yes, I do. Good afternoon, ladies. <laughs> Hello, Kathy. Hello. Um, I have been using castor oil packs on my knees this week because they hurt that bad. I, and it seems like this is, as soon as I release something, something else comes in. Any insight? <laughs> yeah, knees. So a lot, of, I work with knees with just about everybody. And so an interesting, Kathy, I'm sure I was tuning into you yesterday, my, my right knee cracked. <laughs> it's never done that before. It's, oh, very interesting. So there was a big release there. So we'll ask that you accept that in your knees, right? So knees are part of moving forward. They're also minor chakras. So we're going to clear them. We're going to assist you in moving forward. And we're going to ask, we're just going to, yeah, what else are we going to do with that? Bring in divine blessings. Mm, okay, so we're going to stabilize your tailbone area there. Um, we're going to bring all... So, so the spine is a super highway, right? For us in the physical, um, that everything is connected through our spine. So we're going to um, work with the spine of everybody. So the energy just got really quiet. So what does it mean? It means we're in a very sacred space right now as we work with everybody, right? There we go, I'm moving all the way up the back. Kathy, we'll come back to knees. Sometimes the body needs other adjustments in other areas. That is there we beautiful. Go better. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> totally beautiful. All right. And then lower back. So sometimes the problem comes from the hips. There we go. We're balancing. We're clearing any past life around knees for you. Right. Dissolving and releasing that out. We're asking at a soul level, you have a complete understanding of all those lessons so that you don't need to repeat them. Thank you. That's a big shift. We Okay, good. Yeah, all the way up the spine. I love that. So we're going to bring in a lot of blessings, harmony, abundance, oneness, excitement, curiosity. So we're enlivening your field so that your whole body is responding to this beautiful, juicy energy. There we go. So we talk a little bit about the, the uh, divine sequencing gifts that are coming through from the Pleiadians for, for all of you. So and it's basically we're aligning with the Christ consciousness and we're going right into the physical body. So we are mostly um, between the atoms and the molecules, we are all space and we are all light. And that is what is composed of the physical body. And ascension is about upgrading our physical body. 
right? So we're going to bring in some beautiful energies, divine Christed energies into your knee area and wherever else is needed, Kathy. That's lovely. Woo, that's about as much as we can do or you'll just float right off into the stratosphere. <laughs> Thank oh, you so much. <laughs> I'm lit up like a Christmas tree. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's yeah. beautiful. Thank you, oh. Alara and Donna. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, Kathy. That's helpful for all of us. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Um, one second. All right. So I know Olga had written in the chat as well. Olga, you had a question for Donna? Hi, Donna. Hi, Lau. Yes. Um, I've been trying to connect to the play-ins for a lot for a while. I'm finding some guidance to help me with what I want to service to the world. But I don't think it's happening. And I think I'm probably more likely to blocking it or resisting to it. Any insights on that that can help hmm. me to release? Okay. Ah, so the Pleiadians come through in really subtle ways sometimes. right? And depending on where you are in your spiritual journey, the energies are getting really quiet. Right. And this is part of the completion cycle that we're going through is, uh, you know, it's like we don't have people screaming at us anymore. It's like the, the subtle little tweaks that we need to make. So they're already coming through for you, I feel. So we're going to bless the, bless you and holding space for you in connecting with them. So if you put out your hands, palms up, we're going to activate them. It's thumbs up. Okay. And what else are they saying? So I'm going to sing. This is a beautiful song. This is a flip from the Palladians for you. Thank you. Shungigiri. Um, but he opishiki. Um, but to vilati. Um, but a key of Divine remembering. Yeah, so we bring that into your field. We, <laughs> okay, that's lovely. Yeah, I think you're there with them. I, I just think, um, so we're going to strengthen your, your psychic faculties so that it comes through. And the prayer for you is to show me, show me in ways that I understand that you are here with me. Right? Show me, teach me. Yeah, I hear you, I see you, I feel you. Right, show me, teach me. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. They love us so much. It's joyful. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so welcome. much. I felt that they uh, they were putting water through me, and I had like a crown of flowers. It just popped in my head. Aww. It feels it feels so joyful. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It feels really joyful, actually. Oh, <laughs> nice. Good. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Olga. All right. We're going to, uh, there's a question from Lindsay, and it's kind of similar to the question from Olga, but um, and she's saying, is there a practice we can do to call upon the Cadian side within us to help us reestablish balance on each level of physical, mental, and emotional? Thank you. Mm, okay, cool. All right. So we're going to activate your DNA basically. So this is for everyone. So take a deep breath. So we are star seed in nature. We are many, many different ET races. Right? So we're going to activate. This is divine remembering of who we are. Divine remembering and tuning with the Christ consciousness. So in for you and everyone, we'll activate your hand chakras, activate your feet chakras. <laughs> There we go. So what specifically was the question again? Uh, is there a practice that we can do to call upon the Pleiadian side? Hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm pretty informal in how I talk to them. So um, an, open, an open mind, a loving heart, and pure intent. Right? Yeah. Open mind, loving heart, pure intent. Hey, you guys, how are you doing out there? So, and I just see a little... The ship yeah. will flash at me, that kind of thing. So, so there are friends. I talk to them like they're friends. And yeah, 
and, and then just ask for what you want. What is your intention when you're speaking to them, right? So if you want to reestablish balance, then ask for that. So, and the other thing too is, like I journey off into the Pleiades, part of what we're here to do is to talk with them about what our earthly life is like, because that gives them information on how they can help us, all of us, all of humanity. So when I go, I will give a report so, and it would be just little things about how my life is. And sometimes the conversation is, you know, you guys, this really kind of sucks down here, right? As, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, right. And this is what it's really like to be in the physical, right? I have a grumpy neighbor, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. It's, it's all of it's important, right? Because they don't know what it's like for us to be in the physical. They don't have that understanding. And we are um, like, we are connecting heaven and earth. We are the ones in the physical that are making this ascension happen. They can't do it without us, right? So there are friends and uh, I just treat them that way. And you'll find ways to communicate. There's no wrong way to do it. Let me just say it that way. So I report to them and then I will go, I have a nice little meditation. I will go, um, you know, when I'm journeying back to Palladians, there'll be um, a big sort of storage area, even where I'll go and get all the tools that I need in my physical life, everything that I need. And it could be elixirs to drink. It could be crystals. It could be agreements where I, you know, someone's going to come into my life to help me or vice versa. The agreements that we came in to this lifetime to help, right? The people that we've agreed to help and that have helped us, we need to activate that. So call in your soul family, the Palladians, especially, you know, bring in the folks that I came here to help that are my soul family, because my family in the physical world, not so much, like they did a really good job of making things harder for me. So I had to leave them completely, right? So we still need family, right? So calling in the soul family, that would really help. And then, um, you know, you can go into Palladian healing chamber and just say, I, I just want this rebalanced or whatever is going on. But yeah, talk to him. I don't know what's needed right now. Can you help me figure it out? Mm -hmm. I need clarity, help, <laughs> right? Yeah. Whatever's yeah. going on, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's good fun. It's good fun yeah. because I always I go away feeling um, just supported and loved. You know, and there's fun. nothing wrong with asking for help. Even if, like I said, I, I asked for help yesterday. I don't know why, but you know, I, I know I did. Um, nothing for nothing specific but you know it was i don't know anyway so it's just it's just like there's no harm like why wait for something big or major catastrophic to ask for help yeah you can ask for help support energies at any time and we actually should so that we can connect with them on a regular basis not you know like all the time instead of just when it's like the everything goes haywire I'm trying to use nice words. I'm trying not to use like, swear. I'm trying to use nice words. Like, okay, what can I say here? Right. So um, please do connect. And connecting just means talk to them, like Lynn, like Donna said, right? Just talk to them. Um, just from your heart, just from love. Absolutely. Mm, beautiful. So that that yeah. that was great. Thank you for that. Um, who was that that asked for that? Ooh, I forget now. Somebody. Lindsay. Yeah. So thank you for that, Lindsay. Um, all right, so I want to take a few minutes, Donna, and then we'll come back. But I want to take a few minutes and talk about the, the packages, and then we'll come back. Um, because I, I think it's important to, to get that information for everybody quickly. So I'm going to share my screen. So give me one second here. I have to, because, one second, let me just, yeah, okay, perfect. One second, I'm gonna share my screen. So it's the right one. No. Yes. Yes. You can all see the screen. Yep. Awesome. So Donna, she's here for the first time with us, and she has offered three packages that she's sharing with us today: package A, package, package B, package C. Um, so package A and C, there are there is a payment plan available. And for all packages, of course, if you are an Inner Circle member, please use your gift code. So let's talk about, there's a lot coming up. So in package A, there's all these wonderful recordings. Um, Donna, so can you talk a little bit about, there's 13, plus there's five bonuses, plus there's 30 days of email support. There's a lot. Yeah, so I won't talk about them individually. What I am saying in there is there's a bottom 
a bottom up. So we're working directly in your, your physical body. So those recordings, um, so adrenals, that kind of thing, these are all um, upgrading the physical body. So ascension is about fully incarnating. Right. So that's um, that's the bottom up. These are all quantum processes. So we are using very expansive energy. A lot of it's Palladian energy coming in. We're tuning you with the Christ consciousness, these kinds of things. So and then the top down ones. So this is, again, very Palladian. Live in joy, live in, ble in bliss, do things that you love. So connecting you into the Christ consciousness. The more time we spend in these high frequencies, the more our bodies will heal just because, just because, mm -hmm. right? That because our body is so the, the reason is because our, our physical bodies will attune to the higher energies. Our physical bodies prefer the higher frequencies as opposed to the blockages, right? So there's this. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then um, divine sequencing on various ones. The one for abundance, very powerful. Very powerful. And um, um, harmonious relationships. So, so I use these not, I don't listen to the recording so much anymore, but I, I'm really, um, these frequencies are encoded in my being and then they, they resolve into my physical world at, in a way that feels right, feels right, sounds right right is in ways that are right for me so um yeah and then so i've been in the circuit for a long time and and um alara you were one of the the very first telesummits that i was tuning into way back in the day you know mm -hmm. 2010 in there yeah and um so i've got i bought a lot of packages so the email mentoring is to help you stay on track. So there's no point in buying a bunch of recordings. They sound pretty cool if you don't listen to them. And so, so um, with email mentoring, um, you know, figure out something that you absolutely must, must, or, you know, this strong intention and focus on what you absolutely would like. And then we'll support you in that. So every time that you connect in through, through an email, um, the Pleiadians are blessing you and working with you um, with, with the energies of these recordings as well. So this is a divine blessing um, kind of um, package, I would say. And you'll feel called to some of them more than others too. There's that. So, and then we'll go to the second one. So, and we'll do a little, we did a little bit of toning for someone here. And um, so this is package B is just a fun one. So light and sound transmissions, so, um, and light language, and this is to attune you, to attune your, your soul, to bring in more grace and ease into your physical body. So this is, and into your physical life, basically. And so, and what I'm asking is to provide a, a short voice recording, because I'm claircognizant and clairaudient mostly. It will, it will make the biggest difference. So, I mean, and people can send a carrot cake recipe. It doesn't matter what you say. You can grab a book and read, read a passage, read a paragraph for about 30 seconds. That's all I really need. And we'll tune into you and then we'll send you a 20 minute recording and uh, for you to listen to. And there'll be some instruction with it a lot of times. Um, so in the, and I will send you that information as well. So this is a really beautiful way to, to really get attuned into the Palladian energy for those folks who really want to connect with them. So that's package yeah. B. And then package C is three 45 minute one on one energy sessions with you. Right? Yeah, yes. So, so sometimes we need a little help to move through things quicker. And um, so, so what do we do in these sessions? So I'm, I'm trained in grief and trauma. I'm trained in um, inner child work. And, um, you know, I do NLP, this is some processes as well. So we're going to clear the family of origin. We're going to clear past lives. We're going to, a lot of times there'll be soul retrievals. Um, we'll clear whatever is needed, but we can clear um, curses and hexes. We can break soul agreements that are no longer binding so that you can move forward. This is a big one for a lot of us as we are now moving into completion as how to break these soul agreements that we've had for many, many lifetimes or even came through the generations that are no longer binding. We want to clean all that out. Whatever's needed. Um, 
you know, if you have money or abundance issues, we can look at different issues, but there's the Palladians will come in and uh, Archangel Michael and some of the other folks to, to really see you, to see who you are, to hold you in that frequency of unconditional love and to give you the support that you need to move forward and uh, do a lot of clearings. We'll do some downloads, whatever's needed help you, you know, bring blessings into your day, into your week, into your months, attuning you to the highest possible timeline. And sometimes that means clearing out some of the lower timelines. So I've had to do a lot of that very recently. So there's a lot that can be done. Um, let's see, what else do I do? Um, you know, I'll do some body talk. I've been trained in that. Um, you know, some of the modalities that I've done, I, I think you guys can read about that. Yeah. It's I invite folks who are who uh, want to live their lives more joyfully and be more attuned and mm, be more accepting of who you are as the light workers and the, you know, the, the sacred journey that you're on and what you came here to do. It's really important that the light workers get it. This yeah. is my feeling. It's really important that you get that your contribution is needed and is beautiful and is powerful, right? So any and all of that. Oh, thank you. Uh, absolutely, thank <laughs> you. So then again, that's Donna's package C. So there are three different um, packages that are available for you. Package A with all the wonderful recordings and the 30 days of email mentoring. Package B, which is the 20 minute personal light language sound and light transmission recording. And then package C, which is three 45 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions with Donna. So please do take advantage of them. Use, see which one resonates with you, see which one you would like to work with first. Um, and then again, of course, don't forget your, if you're an Inner Circle member, don't forget your gift code, okay? So wonderful, thank you, Donna. You're welcome, cool. <clears throat> All right, so um, we still have some people with their hands raised. Uh, so Sarah wrote in the chat, um, she's asking for help. She says, I have to do a very small wedding and I have no energy today. So she could use a little bit of energy. I think we could all use <laughs> a little bit of energy, more vitality, more energy to, you know, motivation, etc. Um, yeah. Can you help yeah. Donna? I mean, can you help sure. Sarah with that? Absolutely. So we ask her to tune into those areas of her body where she actually feels that fatigue or that tired. Too many expectations. So we're going to hold your adrenals and your kidneys. This will bring energy up. Hmm. When we bring in some Robin energy. I see a Robin sitting in a tree here. So mm. we'll just bring in some of that. The beautiful song of the Robin song, right? Who's blessing us all. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. yeah so we're tuning her into. Mm, so childhood, excitement, fun, curiosity, love, laughter, and play. Who doesn't want more of that? So we're tuning yes, exactly. everyone into that. Yeah. <laughs> so that will bring your energy up. So all the things that you love about doing this wedding, mm, bring that in. So we'll cancel anything out that isn't exciting you about that. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Awesome. Good. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Good fun. Um, Rebecca and, has. I, I just wanted to say I was, oh, I was I was taking up the call to call on the Palladians for help, um, but they gave the message right to you, and I do feel a little better, and I so much appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, this energy will continue to assist you. Right. So we're going to, we're going to work with you throughout the whole, the whole planning, the whole, um, all of it. So until it's finished and the, you know, all, all things tied up. So everything around that project for you, it will just bring in a lot of support and love and support. Yeah. Beautiful. Seeing it move, you know, go through very easily with grace and ease. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <Thank you. laughs> Good. Um, Rebecca has her hand raised. Rebecca, you want to unmute? Uh, kia ora. Uh, hi. I'm interested oh, in hi. healing relationships um, mm -hmm. and, and also in healing in general. Really uh, interested in how I can help <laughs> as, as well as receive. Mm, beautiful. Yeah. So... So the first part is I'm interested in healing, right? So you're doing it, 
That's interesting already in and of itself. So the most interesting thing, this is what they're saying for you and for many of us, is uh, the most interesting thing about healing is, is, is the, um, the freedom that we get from the shifts, right? Mm. So to tune into your own, your own process. And when you see that and feel that and enjoy that and love that as part of who you are, then it's much easier to help other people because you've been there, right? You can hold sacred space for someone else because you've walked that path, right? So mm -hmm. relationships, we're going to, mm, so we're going to allow all those relationships that are finished, this is for you and everyone, to fall out of your field. And this can be, so genealogy especially, so anywhere where our ancestors didn't let go of relationships, right? We're gonna allow those to fall away. Right. So any past lives, we didn't allow relationships to fall away, where some part of who we are is still staying in some past life. We're going to ask for that to fall away. And we're going to bring those soul parts back for you and for everyone. Right. Mm -hmm. So I remember who I am as a divine spark of the eternal. I call all of who I am into me right here, right now. Wow, that's powerful. Okay, with love and joy. And I accept, people can think this or say it to themselves, I accept all the love, all the joy, all the happiness, all the abundance, everything that is true for who I am to be here with us now. We're moving that all the way through your fields. We <laughs> divine blessings. Yeah. You so I hope I answered your question there. Um, yeah, be be present to it because you're doing it. Yeah. Thank you so Something much. Something like that. You're welcome, Rebecca. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Rebecca. And yes, that's helpful for a lot of other people too. Olga said that served me too. Thank you. So good. Awesome. <laughs> um, I love it. Yeah. Uh, there's a question from Cindy, and Cindy says. Can any of these packages help with my son's PTSD and OCD conditions that he has been experiencing for a few years now? Hmm. What's your son's name? What's your son's name, Cindy? Hi, Hi. hello. Hi. Hi, Cindy. Hi, my son's name is Terrell. And okay. he's been experiencing these conditions for just over a few years now and I'm just I've been trying to get help but it's just nothing seems to be truly effective yeah um I invite I, how old is your son he is 29 okay yeah I invite him to buy a package c and we work with him one-on-one -on -one. he Take doesn't want to field. work on it right Cindy he doesn't want to he, he doesn't, doesn't admit he needs that it. yeah right he doesn't think that he has any problems um but he definitely does he's just in denial of having any conditions and i've tried to get mm. him professional help and he doesn't want to cooperate with that i'm not sure if he'd continue i mean cooperate with the package but could it be done um at a soul level Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Or what so, about at the, so at the surrogate level, like as a surrogate, if Cindy could be the surrogate for her son. Yeah. So, so how I would work with Cindy is to clear all her attachment around that. And a lot of times that's enough to free up the other, right? Because we love our children so much. We want what's best for them and that we get over invested in that. We could really work with you on that. And then all the work that you do, we can send to him, right? I mean, um, and that's, that's true of everyone. Like when we upgrade our whole family upgrades, right? So, um, and then there's other ways to talk to him as from soul to soul. Those are experiences you could have to talk to him and say, look, I am concerned about you. This is what's going on that I see, you know, and what are your soul agreements with your son? These kinds of things, right? So, so we would work with you. And through the process of that, it could, um, could, because there is no other way. There is no other way to work with him because he doesn't want it. So we have to work with you, right, Cindy? Okay, that's yeah. so when sense. you, yeah. So when you let go, um, you know, of you know wanting what's best for him, it's very hard. Um, 
you know, and look at your lifetimes together and, you know, all of that, when you do that, um, it frees them up to just be, right? It, it has the potential to do that. When we stop being invested in helping and make, you know, changing people, then, then that falls away from their field and they're able to move forward. And we can bring in a lot of gifts for him at a soul level to really empower and strengthen him. That's very, you know, very positive to do through U.S. surrogate, right? Like that, that's what they're saying we could do to help him. So he's just more happy, right? So, so those are two, this is what I'm seeing. Those are two ways we could work, work with that, right? Yeah, what okay. are your soul agreements with him? That kind of thing, yeah. Does that, that make sounds, sense to you, Cindy? Does it that does. Sense? That sounds very interesting. Yes, it does. Thank you. Thank you for that advice. And I will You're definitely welcome. look into your packages. You recommended C for him? Yeah, the personal I mean, session. Yeah. So they would be through you. C, <coughs> C right? for you. Yeah. Okay. It'd, C it'd for, you for you. And, and we'll yeah. work, work with him through you. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Cindy. And uh, Cindy, yes. of course, you know, make sure you um, use your inner circle gift code, okay? If okay. You, if you choose to, you know, buy the packages, <laughs> it's totally up to you. I, there's never any pressure from my side. I just know that um, I, I just would like to you to have that support and that help for your son and for yourself, if, if that's possible. So whatever, whatever you choose is right for you. <laughs> okay. Thank and you so Cindy. much. And, and yeah. for Cindy and everyone. Thank you, so, Cindy. so we're bringing in this beautiful blessing around all like if we struggle in relationships to bring in the insights and love and support that we need so we can find the answers that will work right because i'm i mean i want what's best for everyone <laughs> i'm yeah. not invested so much in selling packages either um i've been asked to serve in this way and so i do but um i'm invested in people finding what's absolutely right for them on their yeah. journey yeah thank you cindy that's that was a really important question for this whole this whole group like i'm feeling it coming full circle here right because i was i was picking up on the relationship aspect of of all of this right yeah absolutely and the thing is thank you know you. What, what, one thing we have to remember um is that we we are all on our own journey right so i'm on my journey my kids are on their journey my parents are on their own journey <laughs> Yeah. Right. So as much as I would like things to be maybe different for my, and my husband's on his journey and uh, <laughs> as much as I would like things to be slightly different, um, it's their journey. And I have to respect that and accept it, you know, but of course, you know, as a mother, <laughs> I totally get it, Cindy. Um, I yes. would, you know, like uh, my, my daughter had uh, called earlier and she was saying how, you know, she has this sore neck and I was saying, well, do this, do that. I sent her healing and all that wonderful stuff. And she's like, mom, mom, why are you getting mad? And I was like, I'm not mad. I'm frustrated and I'm concerned that you're in pain because, you know, I don't want you to be in pain. Right. But she, she's going to do what, you know, is right for her. Right. So it's like, okay, you do what's right for you. Because I said, just take an Advil. It'll help. And then I'll do the other stuff too. But, you know, it like one Advil is not going to do much harm. But, you know, she's like, I don't want to take Advil. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> So I was like, all right, um, you know, so I would love it for her, her pain to go away, right? But if she's had pain since Saturday and it's getting worse, then there's something in there for her to know, for her to learn, for her to experience and or resolve in some way, right? So we have to let them have their journey. Mm. So, and, and as you're saying this, we can ask for divine intervention for her with regards to all of that. Oh. And there's also, we'll work with the pain points um this is traditional chinese medicine so when i'm not sure where the pain is in her body but we can oh yeah she has a kink in her, her in her neck on the right side and it's like oh. i i used to have that and i even told her i said don't you remember? I, said, I said don't you remember on the day of your christening you know i had this, such a bad kink and i said mom mm. mom i don't remember that it's like okay whatever i did and i had to go to the chiropractor and oh my god it was so much pain but uh it's like oh yeah i used to have that a lot but haven't in, in a while so it's like oh poor thing yeah <laughs> divine yeah, balance to the neck area yeah so just just talking about it it's like a prayer i would mm -hmm. love for my daughter to be pain-free that's a prayer of kindness that yeah. goes out we can do that for anybody that's one really beautiful way we can help everyone you know 
or just so just send blessings right so we'll yeah. all send blessings to your daughter oh, right thank now. You. yeah <laughs> That was Lots not my intention. Love. I was trying to explain the whole parent-child <laughs> thing in, their, in each individual person's journey. But uh, thank you. Yeah. I, I graciously receive all the blessings and support for sure <laughs> and healing. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's how the Palladians are working. They want every everyone to to be empowered in whatever ways, right? So it's still up to her if she wants to accept yeah. that. You know, she still has free will around that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Absolutely. I love that. I love that you care so much about her. Of I course, mean, she's, she's my yeah. baby. You know, I just, I just love her so much. It's like, oh my God. All right, anyway. Um, everybody <laughs> knows how much I love my kids. So it's like, you know, uh, both, both of them, plus the two dogs. I mean, everybody, everybody knows how much I love them. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> my face just glows as soon as I start talking about them, you know? So it's like, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so, Wow, we did a lot of healing, clearing, and lots of blessings came in through the, from the Pleiadians, lots of shifting. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to share or they wanted to share with us today? Any, any last words of wisdom or any other, uh, anything else that they wanted to share with us? Sure. So, so I wrote down a few things. I didn't want to do too much because I wanted to be spontaneous. Mm -hmm. So we talked about the completion cycle, right, yes. that we're all in, right? Yeah. So that's important. So, so when I wrote down love bonds and you just talked about it, Alara, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. <laughs> so, so we're going to talk about love bonds in a deeper way. So, so a love bond is like, I've had many soulmate relationships. <laughs> they, they were forces of nature in some respects. So I had a lot of learning to do with, and some of them were just soulmates that came along and it gave me a piece of healing or in, information as well. So so, um, so a love bond is not a, compo um, a codependency bond. It's not a trauma bond. Although the love bond that comes between souls, it can be both. I've had experiences where it can be both. But what we're talking about now is to honor the love, even if there's difficulty in a relationship, right? To honor the love, you know, the reason that you, you came together in this, this lifetime and all the others, to really honor that and know that that's sacred and beautiful. And so, and honor the love that creator has for us. So this is another love bond. It's kind of in, in um, you, know, um, you know, English words, right? We, we are moving back into this love space. And in order to do that, we need to acknowledge all the love that is there for all of us, right? So the vibrancy even of a tree as I'm looking out the window is, has to do with love because we could not exist in the physical if there wasn't this grace, this unconditional love that is the creator of all of all that is, right? So um, to remember the love. Um, let's see, I'll, I'll just quickly check. What else? Um, okay, so when we want to bring in some more healing for the physical pain, this is really a, this is a really big one for a lot of folks. And so, and we'll work, we'll do a short group process if there's time, Alara, and, and to assist people with this as well. Mm -hmm. Honoring, honor, be honoring of where you're at, right? Be honoring of where you're at. It's not who you are. You're moving through some stuff. That's all, right? Yeah. You are soul, you're a divine spark of the eternal oneness, and you're having a human experience where the little self has to learn how to let go right? Because we're moving into oneness, we're moving into the now moment. And so our little selves have to be mm, willing to be instructed by our souls, by the wisdom of our hearts, by all of who we are, right? As a spark of the eternal. And this, the Palladians are very good at helping with this because they come in and activate us as soul. Activists is the divine being that we are. And then all the other stuff is just like, oh, I was worried about that. What's that, right? Mm. <laughs> we just kind of let go of that, right? So it, it's the more we attune to our soul selves, the less we are interested in the lower, you know, the grumpy neighbor, any of that, right? So, and then for the package A, this was something I just mentioned, write a commitment statement to yourself. This is my commitment to me that I'm going to resolve X, Y, Z in listening to the recording. So, so, and then finally, we're going to bring in some dragon energy for everybody to give them the fire that they need to move forward on their next step on their journey. So, and this is very beautiful. So 
<laughs> Aww. So dragons are, are infinitely loving of us and they're associated with magic and, and they bring in the magic into our lives so that, oh, someone showed up that I really like and then we get to have coffee and have fun, right? Just little things like that. Right, so we're bringing in divine blessings of dragon energy to make our lives magical, or that. Mm, so I'd really love. Um, so I'm a uh, I'm a, a fast manifester. If you need help with that, though, I would love to find a book about you know X Y Z how to work with the Palladians. How about that? And see how fast it comes around. And dragons will bring that about very magically for you as well. And also the package B will can really assist you in, in moving forward into because I this like this channel, this being Donna Hill has has within her field those kinds of things, right? So the magic the, of of living and life and curiosity and all of that. Um, okay, and this is an interesting one. This came up with a client, so I wanted to mention it. In terms of ascension symptoms, this is kind of an odd thing. I feel it's important. So our bodies are evolving from, from carbon to crystalline. What that means is the body is adjusting. And so sometimes you can have fluid um, leaking out of your ear and it's, it's a little bit thicker than say water. It's a clear fluid, but it's not earwax, right? And this can happen. It's an unusual thing and it feels freaky. It's normal. It's because <laughs> I was part of the Ascension groups for a long time. If you have liquid, you know, liquid something draining out of your ear, that's what it is. Your body's upgrading. Um, I had for a time um, excruciating pain in the eyes, just a quick, it'd be like a split second, but and if it would have been longer, I would have been in agony. Um, so the eyes are upgrading, right? I had eye infections when I get infected for a day and then it'd be cleared up, done, right? So it can happen, those kinds of things. So, um, and if it would have lasted longer than the day, I would went to a doctor, of course. So we never ignore the idea that, you know, we need medical help, right? So um, flashes of light in your peripheral vision. And this happens a lot. This can happen a lot until we get attuned to it. Like now I, I don't see that so much anymore. That has to do with the brain activating and the eyes activating as well, right? So these are activations. Um, extreme body temperature drop. <laughs> oh my God, this is so uncomfortable. So it feels like you can't put on enough sweaters and turn the heat up enough because you're still feeling and you're shivering and your teeth are cl clattering, right? And this is... This is an ascension symptom. So um, last about 40 minutes and then body temperature will go back to normal has been my experience. I think everyone's different, but our hormones are being upgraded, right? So body temperature regulation very much about that. So I wanted to mention some of the sort of weirder things. Um, you know, I looked out the window one day and I saw the grid of, uh, of the matrix. So, so what's that? Well, if you ever saw Star Trek and you saw the grid in the holodeck, right? Say this end program and there's a grid, that's what it looked like. And I did a double take, but I got it, right? So, so things, um, here's another one. So the other place where I lived, the physical in your home can change permanently. This is a very weird one. This one had me sitting on my couch with my jaw on the floor for about 20 minutes. So I went into the laundry room and there was, you know, there's a drain in the floor and there was a silver up to this point was a silver ring around the drain, right? And so it's corroded because, the, you know, and it's worn and all of that. Um, <laughs> next time I went to do laundry, big red ring an hour and a, uh, about an inch and a half around the drain worn you know dirty obviously been with the building for I was like what so I went and sat on my couch and thought about that for quite a while and went back and looked not still red stayed red from then on so these are the really crazy things that can happen your landscape can change I was walking around town there's a tree there it's the grown tree I've lived here three years I've never seen that tree before right this is showing us that we're changing timelines it's a very big part of it so and we need to change timelines because we're 
we're be you know we're moving on to a higher timeline. So I just wanted to mention those really quickly. Ascension can be really freaky <laughs> and sometimes fun. Um, so if you have things that you can't explain, well, that's we're in ascension. It's going to be weird, basically, right? So that's been my experience. So thank you for letting me share those. Um, I think it it's helped some people. Oh, absolutely. I, I got some ears tuning into some of that. So that's cool. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you wanted to do a process, I think you said? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. Everybody loves processes. So <laughs> that can okay. assist us, right? Yeah. And so how long do we have? Uh, a few minutes. That's fine. So we go five, seven minutes? Sure. Let's yeah. do that. Sure. Okay. Perfect. So we'd ask that everyone tune in to their hearts. We'd ask that you take three deep breaths in through your nose deep into your belly and out through your mouth. Second breath as you're ready, into your nose, deep into your belly and out through your mouth. Third breath as you're ready and through the nose, deep into the belly. And out through the mouth, we're sending out divine blessings to all of creation. Balance and harmony. Bringing in these beautiful unconditional love. The fire of the dragon the magic of the dragon, all those that love us and support us, the Palladians being here with us.
Mm. And take a deep breath, becoming aware of your surroundings, wiggling your fingers and your toes, divine remembering, remember who you are. Coming back to this now moment. <laughs> it's beautiful. Awesome, thank mm -hmm. you so much. How's everybody feeling? How was that for all of you? <laughs> I feel so much lighter, to be honest. Um, yeah, lighter and brighter and just mm, more beautiful. present, peaceful, Olga says. Yeah, awesome, good. Well, oh, I, I just wanted to go on and on with that. That felt so beautiful. So we're really pulling in a lot of empowering energies for everybody. So really attuning you back to your to your soul, right? Yeah, Linda said yeah. I felt lighter as well. In, uh, inspired. I felt like you were singing a lullaby. Beautiful, beautiful. Anita says, "Good, <laughs> good fun." Wow. Yeah, and of course, since it's on the uh, recording, you'll be able to go back and listen to it or watch it again. Um, Tanya says lots of sweating at the end. Awesome, that's good. So peaceful and feeling lighter. Awesome, Cindy. Ellen says touched. She feels touched. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love mm -hmm. it. Thank you. Uh, Madeline says thank you. Very beautiful and soothing. Yeah. That's Wonderful. beautiful, yeah. So this is how our souls bless us through through the sound, through the light and sound. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, and yawning too. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I'm still yawning. So I do yawn <laughs> during processes. So I'm still yawning. Um, cool. Norissa, oh, I can't, maybe Nomsa. Sorry, I can't read without my glasses. Amazing. Thanks for the gift. I felt a presence on my left side. Oh, nice. Cool. Good. Yeah, love it. Probably the Pleiadians with you, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and awesome. the Lyran's very strong lion energy with some of us right now. It's very, you know, and July is, you know, yeah. What is Leo, Leo the lion, right? So there is some of that going on. Absolutely. It's lovely. Yeah. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Thank you, uh, everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for all your wonderful feedback, all your wonderful questions uh thank you all Rhonda. thank you all beautiful uplifted and grace in our hearts to share oh that's so beautiful thank you for that Rhonda. Yeah. yeah and thank you so much donna this was absolutely wonderful so powerful so transformational so i really appreciate all of your support during this call and the pleiadians who are with us and, and the rest of your team who is with us um thank you thank you it was wonderful and of course, you know, if you'd like to work with Donna, please do take a look at the packages A, B, and C. See which one resonates with you. See what see you know see which one you would like to work with. And if you are an inner circle member, please do take advantage of your gift code as well. Awesome. Wonderful. And so the the replay will be out in a little while. So please do uh, go back and watch or listen again. Uh, thank you, Linda. Yes, Donna was fabulous and good to be with you again too, Linda. I feel like sometimes I feel like I haven't seen people in a while, but I'm, I'm sure I saw you last week, but I'm, I'm not sure. Time is just going by so fast, right? So fast. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Donna. Thank you, the Pleiadians as well for their support and their guidance and their healing and their love and their light and their blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And thanks to everyone that made this made this what it is, right? So I can only reflect back to the group what's going on. So I'm yeah. blessed. I'm blessed by all of your presences. And thank you all so much for the work you're doing in the out in the world. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's the thing. Sometimes we don't acknowledge that we are doing anything, for example. So just appreciate and acknowledge yourselves as well, right? So uh, yeah. we're all doing so much and uh, appreciate that about yourself and acknowledge that. And keep doing it <laughs> at the same time. Keep keep going. Um, wonderful. And thank you, Donna, for all the work that you're doing uh, in your community, supporting the collective, all the healing work that you're doing. Thank you so much. And um, this was absolutely beautiful, wonderful. All There's so, so, so many wonderful comments in the chat. That everybody was receiving. So even from the replay, please be willing to receive. Okay. Beautiful. Wonderful. Yeah, I am blessed. 
Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. And we'll be back tomorrow. This is a full week, everyone. So <laughs> you're going to be getting emails every day. So we'll see you tomorrow for another show. And again, thank you so much, everyone. Until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye for now. Bye, everyone. <laughs>